doing? Cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to I look funny, but yo, I'm making money, see? So yo, world, I hope you're ready for me Now gather round, I'm the new fool in town And my sound's laid down by the underground Hello, Xbox and YouTube, my name is Big Hello Gamer And we just got the free games for August This one right here that you're watching is Flight 2 Zero And this is by far one of the worst games I have played on the Xbox One I mean, downloading it, it looked fun, even the wallpaper seemed promising. Playing the game and listening to the audio and the voice acting was decent. Playing the game and looking at the graphics and how hard it is to control, it, it just ruined the entire game for me. Now, uh, I'm going to point out that I'm not one of these flying video game fans, but I tried to do it on the easiest difficulty, and it's just difficult and boring. The, the voice, the voices that they use, the way they talk to you in the dialogue, it's all around the whole Metal Gear Solid kind of interface where they speak to you on the screen, that kind of stuff. Remind me so much of Star Fox, but a pirated freaking version, a homemade version. This game really sucked, and I wouldn't recommend it. So, I'm not too happy with this title that was free for Xbox One. Hopefully, Crypt Dragon is a lot better than this crap. We'll just see how that goes. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later on the battlefield. See ya. Don't buy this game, please. Okay, now Crimson Dragon was a little bit different. I liked it a little bit better. It reminded me, again, of Star Fox with the whole do a barrel roll thing, because they have that in this game. But I like the graphics. The environments look so amazing. And the dragons are very well detailed for an, for an arcade game, basically. Uh, it has the that weird ranking system with the letters. I forgot what those are called. So, you know, you get an S, it's basically perfect. That kind of stuff, and uh, it's pretty. It's pretty simple to learn. Um, when you first start off, you kind of have to get used to the controls, but once you know what you're doing, everything else is pretty basic. Uh, as far as I know, you have two different type of attacks. You have this one that I'm using right now, where you kind of just move your move your cursor over the enemy, and it will automatically lock onto different parts of its body, and then it will start shooting at it once you pull the trigger. And then they have another one where like it's basically free aim, you get to pull the trigger whenever you want, that kind of stuff. Uh, that leads me to this that you're seeing on screen, the cutscenes. Uh, very well done cutscenes, I love it, the storyline seems good so far, you're a recruit for this one team. And then this big white, uh, I think they call it the Phantom, shows up and wipes out your entire team and you're the only survivor of that squad. So they keep you around to do more missions. And it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool so far. Uh, let me show you guys more of the environments that they have. Like right now you just saw the, the lava environment. Oh, this is the main, this is the after mission review. It's pretty cool. Once again, like Star Fox and Metal Gear, so that was nice. Now let me show you guys a different type of environment because it's very well done for this game. I really like it. So as you can see on the second level, every level you play, the environments keep on changing. And that's pretty cool. That's what I like about this game. Not like uh, Flight Suit Zero, they kept the same, you know, space universe kind of stuff. So the environments do change, and they do that very, very well. And the enemies actually interact with the with the environment. But this game gets weird after a while, I swear. They start uh, sh giving you some type of enemies that are like dragon sharks coming out of the water. It's, it's It gets weird all of a sudden. But uh, besides that, uh, this is the only game that I actually liked out of the free to play. The other one looked like looked like a Whopper commercial, and then you actually get a Whopper, and then it's nothing like the commercial. That's what I felt about uh, Flight Suit Zero. Uh, it looked cool on the wallpapers and everything, and then I played it, and it was gone. Well, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield.